hello friends welcome to my channel in the last tutorial we learn service container in this tutorial we will learn how to bind the service container with the service provider first of all what is binding in other word you can say binding is to attach in the laravel you can say attach service into the service provider using the bind method almost all your service container register with the service provider so we will learn in deep about the service provider in the next tutorial right now we are going to learn bindings and different different bindings method first of all let me show you the service provider into the application service provider located inside the app directory and you can see it here basic five service providers by default given by the laravel applications event service provider broadcast service provider auth service provider app service provider and route service provider so i'm going to show you how to bind the any of the service in the register method of app service provider first of all we take example of the basic binding then singleton and then scoped singleton method so let's start we can get instance of the application using this keyword so let me specify these and then we can get app this is the whole applications in this instance and we can use bind method and let me specify here we can specify service name here with the namespace so let me specify one of the service which i created in my this application i have two and three service so let me use any one of them uh, let me use category repository the you can say uh, repository in other words uh, service so i specify a name with repository but you can take category service as well so let me specify category repository and colon colon in class we can specify class as well as interface here the second argument is a function so let's specify function and specify dollar f instance and curly brackets now we need to return here the class instance using new keyword with the category repository so let me return it here now let's check the category repository also we can use app and make method for return the category instance but let's first check the category repository bind or not let me open the web.php and dd the application you can see whole applications binding and everything using this app method so let's refresh and you can see here 88 methods uh, binding with this application let me comment out this and refresh it again and show you now binding is 87 but uncomment and refresh the browser and one service binding is increase and let me find category repository and you can see here the category repository is bind with this application let me show you one another method of returning the instance of category repository let's specify app using make method and just need to give this file name here let me save and refresh and still you can see here 88 methods binded with the application so binding is very easy of any of your service with the service provider with basic method 
next binding method is singleton you can bind with the singleton method and this method bind class and interface you can specify class and interface here and this only resolve one time and one singleton binding is resolved same object and instance will be written on subsequent call into the container and this method resolve the service only one time next is you can use scoped singleton this is a similar to singleton method but into the scope you need to pass here scoped method and in this method the instance is flushed whenever the laravel application start a new life cycle so this is minor difference with the singleton and scoped binding so you can use this method as well also we can bind the typed variable you may have a class that uh, receive an array of typed object using the uh, constructor argument let me show you one example i have a category repository and i extend it with the base repository let me show you one example in this base repository i have created one f uh, variable here uh, you can say typed variable and when this base repository create the instance these applications app variable passed through the constructor and specify this app variables instance to this variable this value assign to this app variable while this base repository create an instance so it's called also one type of binding so this is the binding in the laravel and it's very easy thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel we will learn laravel nexmo into the next tutorial stay tuned thank you